Hi, I am Alex Kolaskov, commercial photographer, founder of Fotich.com. On this video, I want to show you uh, my studio all around. Uh, it was many requests and actually it's a pretty cool idea, I think, to kind of show uh, your studio uh, to fellow photographers so they will see what do you have, how you manage uh, your space and, you know, stuff like this. And uh, since we're moving to California, we live in Georgia, uh, next month and uh, everything will be disassembled and uh, basically won't exist anymore and this the way uh, it is now. Uh, I'm going to record the video using this cool Google Glass. Uh, I will walk you through all I have all around and uh, what served uh, us uh, our business for eight years. Uh, we've been shooting in this studio. It's home-based, it's small uh, space and uh, well you see how how I managed uh, to make it work for us. And before I start, sorry for the mess. Uh, it's quite messy, we already start packing, uh, so uh, it will be many boxes and you know, mm, uh, things uh, like this. But uh, honestly, it will represent uh, the real uh, environment in, in the studio, because, um, well, I have quite messy um, work style and lifestyle. <laughs> okay, so let me turn on this Okay, Google Glass, and uh, uh, we'll go from here, from this studio. So you've probably seen this space a lot before, right? Uh, this is the shooting space, basically it's a half of uh, that shooting space I have uh, in this room. Fatif stand, it cost me uh, with delivery maybe a little bit less than $500, uh, I got it used, it's a cool thing. This is a uh, a little Hero Pro camera, which I have connected uh, through HDMI and the power. So it grabs picture from this when I'm shooting. And uh, this is another camera, right, which record everything. And uh, this is what software I use. Uh, I use Telestream Wirecast software to record the whole thing. And a uh, little thing, what I have here, for example, this hanger, this is Manfrotto, uh, well, whatever you call it, easy to hang all that stuff, uh, stands and, you know, things I have. Then I used this, uh, basically it's support for a table from Ikea, two of them, and uh, I flipped them upside down and um, fixed it to the wall, uh, so they work uh, as uh, holders for all that uh, diffusers and other light modifiers I have. Okay, as you see, I have painted the floor in a gray. That's what works for me. I don't shoot people here. I don't need white walls. And I even covered uh, this wall with um, the black fabric. So uh, all the windows are covered. I don't need any uh, natural light. Uh, for video, uh, for video recording, I am using these LED lights. Okay. I can show you it right here. This uh, LED lamps, uh, which can be easily dimmed if needed, uh, kind of cool. It's much better solution than what I have on top. Uh, this Loris sand, I put it myself there. Okay, uh, then little table, little table I have here, and uh, that's usually what I have uh, stuff for the shot. If I'm preparing the shot, you know, I put things which I need here. Table is on the wheels, so I can easily grab it, have it uh, next to my shooting area and, you know, do the lighting setup. Okay. Uh, then few boxes with stuff which, again, are frequently used on the shots. Then I have these cabinets. It's kind of cool uh, cabinets with uh, this mesh uh, well, mesh cabinets on the table. So all kind of stuff uh, which I may need, uh, like cleaning supplies, for example, right? Uh, some, well, tapes and other thing. Then uh, a little bit messy, but it's basically cleaning and uh, some polishing and again tapes. And uh, cables, you know, all that kind of stuff which photographer may need. Then on the table, I have uh, lenses you know, the charger for the batteries, uh, all that kind of chargers, little lamp, which helps when, you know, the studio should be dark, uh, it highlights the table. Then those shelves where I have uh, the lighting, some lights which I have, right, uh, all kind of lights, from brown color to white lighting, 
and uh, you know Einstein's. And uh, here I have those little drawers with little like jewelry things, okay? Artificial eyes, you know, stuff like this. Uh, again, some jewelry. That's another thing which uh, where I store, you know, some stuff which I use for education, for educational videos. Little backgrounds, some really cool uh, backgrounds here. Well, not sure what it is. Gels, you know, films. Uh, you see, I manage, you know, to hang a little boxes uh, when I need, uh, let's say, honeycomb grids or some screens. Okay, uh, here I have cameras, uh, some relatively expensive and cool cameras, like this uh, big Cambo, right? Cambo Ultima, uh, which I use with digital back, and you know other stuff. Uh, again. Diffusers from Cyroform mostly. Uh, lots of do-it-yourself, you know, kind of stuff. Then some cables. And uh, let's see what the other side. So the table, again, table is quite high. High, uh, I like it. I can easily adjust the height of this table. It's retractable uh, legs. It has uh, tables from Ikea. And, uh, well, I kind of like it. Uh, storage solution. Right, I have, uh, that's one of the computers we have. I have uh, office upstairs, uh, but this is where we're shooting, where uh, video is uh, being edited. And I have like a fast storage, right? It's uh, Promise R6 uh, Thunderbolt uh, RAID. Uh, this is slow, I kind of call it slow, it's USB 3.0 uh, uh, RAID. This is just simplest, it's basically for time machine, but again, it's RAID 1. Uh, everything is uh, with redundancy uh, to back up uh, what I have here on an SSD drive. I also use this Belkin uh, Thunderbolt hub. Basically, it ta takes Thunderbolt and it has a firewire which I need to feed to leave digital back, right? It eats firewire. And it also has USB 3 and, uh, uh, well, Microphone, for example, that's what I'm using right now to record the sound. Uh, uh, easier, whatever, I forgot <laughs> how you name it. Uh, it's a really cool uh, lab uh, wireless solution, you know, for recording. Of course, we have some music sitting there. You see? Uh, okay, then what? We also have the lighting sits uh, under the stand or sits somewhere, I mean, those big uh, brown color packs next to the wall. Then this storage for all kind of props. Lots of stuff here, uh, lots of magic, magical stuff, you know. <laughs> uh, anywhere I'm thinking, hey, it may be useful for my photography, uh, I'm storing here. And again, it's quite messy, but uh, it works well. I need to see the whole thing because when you get in some ideas, uh, this is where uh, you know you. I need to see because I don't remember all I have. And uh, yeah, some light sitting there. It's not supposed to be there, but it will be there <laughs> for a while. Then a uh, large stand with boom arm. I don't need it in the studio anymore, so I'm sometimes using to hang microphones or something here. Then this door is not used. It's kind of closed. And I use uh, some little, you know, hanger for soft boxes. This is uh, soft boxes I use most, and uh, it's easy to hang them here, right? Then backgrounds, backgrounds, uh, other backgrounds, uh, some little drawing boards so we can do sketches and you know stuff like this. Uh, more of the backgrounds on top. Okay, so this is how. The whole studio, basically I call it shooting area. That's where all magic happens. By the way, I have these uh, things on the uh, ceiling, that plastic cover. I can easily use these wires to cover the whole area. You see one more there. To hold the col whole area with uh, plastic when I do my splashes. So it's kind of relatively permanently uh, sits there. Okay. Uh, let's move to this area. Because it's a basement, it's a basement of uh, our house. The whole basement uh, 
it's like a studio. So on this area, again, it's messy. We have TV which connected uh, to the iMac uh, through uh, Apple, or there is computer for this. Uh, Sometimes we need just a computer. So I can uh, easily translate what's going on in the studio uh, to this big monitor uh, where clients can be sitting here and watching what I'm doing, OK? And uh, here is another thing. Again, it's all mess. Uh, this is props. But basically, this is area where clients can sit and you know talk and uh, enjoy their life while I'm shooting there. Uh, this is the entrance to the studio, so kind of main doors. And this is just a storage. <laughs> yeah, entrance to the storage. Uh, well, I don't care about first impression. Uh, I care about my photos to be good, not, you know, how the studio looked like. Uh, and uh, again, it's all disassembled now. We used to have much more uh, stuff uh, sitting here, but basically large uh, soft boxes. Uh, and yeah, this huge one collapsed, uh, sits there. I also have some stuff for uh, protecting from spills, you know, when we uh, use uh, paint and things like this. We need lots of uh, rugs and covers. Okay, so this is how this area looks like. Then, uh, yeah, a little, uh, by the way, this all plastic glasses, really cool. You can, yeah, sounds cool. <coughs> so, um, you can throw them, uh, really cool to learn. Um, photography and uh, all kind of stuff chairs this is the bathroom uh, with some steam room kind of cool not for clients but we kind of enjoy it sometimes yeah little steam room and here's uh, again mess 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 but basically it's a kitchen right it's a studio kitchen we uh, almost uh, never cook it uh, cook here for us but uh, it has uh, for example here uh, lots of uh, dyes and food colorings and you know stuff like this uh, which we use for liquid photography um, yeah maybe some coffee some tea nothing major okay so full st uh, full kitchen uh, from ikea by the way we installed it ourselves it's kind of cool uh, we like it yeah it's more like a props here all this is used for uh, trainings uh, you know for these videos and uh, yeah some Things which clients left, like these uh, slow cookers. We are shooting them for Walmart a long time ago. And the boxes to, to be sent to b and you know, with test stuff. A uh, large shooting table, uh, partially disassembled. So this is how it is. Okay. This is the studio, and I think I covered almost everything uh, possible in that short time. Okay. This is it. Thank you for watching, and uh, well, we can always discuss, ask me questions. If you have any, uh, go to 40 gcom There is a forum. You can always, you know, post question or join our Facebook group where uh, search the 40G. You'll find uh, Facebook group 40G. That's where. Uh, all our members are really active, and uh, that's where I communicate uh, with you guys. Okay? So, see you in California in August uh, 2014. That's where you'll have a uh, much larger studio, not a home based studio, and uh, well, everything will be quite different. But you see, the whole idea of this that you can have, if you have a relatively large house, like in the US, you know, many people have. You can have a commercial studio right in your house, and it's really convenient, it's really cool, and, um, well, it's a good start for your business. Okay? So, good luck to you, your photography and photography business. Bye!